All right, YouTube peeps, we are on Q35. We're looking at Monday. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral. It's a polygon. A polygon is a closed shape with only straight lines. And it is a quadrilateral, meaning it is made up of four sides, right? A quad. And it only has one pair of parallel lines. So those two lines right there are parallel. That is a pair. I think there was a question on the test on Friday about this. Trapezoid. Joseph's bedroom is seven feet long and eight feet wide. Draw a picture. Okay, we'll put a J in the middle so we know that's Joseph's seven by eight. <clears throat> if you're confused, the best thing you can do is just draw a picture. Try to draw what's in your head or what you think the question is asking. His brother's room is 10 by 5. We'll just put B there for brother. Whose bedroom is the largest? In order to figure this out, you need to multiply 8 times 7. That's going to tell you the area of Joseph's. To figure out the area of the brother, you have to multiply 10 times 5. You should be able to figure out which one is larger. Okay, what do we got here? How much money does Bill have all together? We've talked about this before. Four ninety nine is close to five hundred. So you could go five hundred plus three twenty eight is going to give you eight twenty eight. But remember, I added one to make it 500. So you just have to subtract one that you added, 827. You wash your hands good? 827. Okay, find the difference. Most of you can add better than you can subtract. So why not start at 433 and then jump your way to 485 and then you're just gonna count your jumps. So you can find the answer to a subtraction problem by adding. Label the fractions below. Are these fractions equivalent? The key thing with equivalent fractions is as long as it's the same size pizza, is it the same size pizza? Yes. So look at the shaded area. Is there any more pizza here than there is here? No, that is the exact same amount of pizza. One out of four is equal to 2 out of 8. The only thing that this one has is more cuts. See that? It's got more cuts to it. So the pieces are smaller. The larger the bottom number, the smaller the pieces are going to be because you're sharing with 8 people. At this party, you're only sharing with 4 people, so the slices are bigger. Remember, the pizza has to be the exact same size, though. So let's take a look. Let me show you an example. Two exact same pizzas, good enough. If I cut this pizza into fourths, there's four people at this party. Look at how big that slice is. Right? One fourth. There's only four people at the party, so the slices are going to be bigger. But now, check this out. I come through, and I cut up the pizza more. Have I added any pizza? 
No, all I've done is add cuts. I've made more cuts to it. Now what do I have? I have two out of eight. So there's a clear example of why one fourth and two eighths are the same. You're not making any more pizza, you're just adding cuts. Okay, you could also do this again. What if I chop up the pizza? All these slices I cut in half. Doing my best here to make them look the same size. Just pretend they are. Uh-oh, how many pieces do I have now? I have 16 pieces and four that are colored. One-fourth, two-eighths, and four sixteenths are all equal. It's all the same amount of pizza. Okay, that's what equivalent means. It's the same amount. Okay, I think that is good for Q35 for help on Monday's homework.